Hello everyone, it's me Fox Gala and today in Pokemon Unite I'll be doing a Serena 1 vs 5 challenge. Now I'm in my Protogen form for this so I do better and if you're wondering the build that I'm using then here. So anyways fun fact, this video was originally going to be posted last week but I didn't have time to make it because I had to revise for my exams. And now that I did my exams, I can post this video, so yeah. So anyways, let's get back on topic. So what we gotta do first is head over to this goal zone and score some points. And we've evolved, so let's get some more Pokemons in order to score. There we go. We go down like this and score in the goal zone. And... Let's find some more Pokemon, shall we? And also, just so you know, I'm not a professional player at Pokemon Unite. I'm not the kind of person you'd see at like a championships event. So don't expect me to like do good against these five Pokemons. Uh, I'm only just a casual player, like I said, like a few seconds ago. So expect me to lose, okay? But I'll try my best, okay? So anyways, now I have to retreat because I'm on low health and I've got a new move called Triple Axel and let's try to fight these Pokemons again. And I think they're a little bit too powerful so let's retreat and avoid them. And now we're going to just beat up wild Pokemons for their points to score. So... I'm doing the voiceover after I did the video game footage, so expect some like stuff to happen because of it. And we're gonna get this other Pokemon, and I don't care about the buffs that they give you, all I care about is the points. And we got him, and we've evolved into our final form, Serena. So. Let's just attack these bunnies. And if you're wondering, yes, I know what their names are, but I just didn't want to say their name. I know, like, I probably know all Pokemon names. And we got this guy, and here's his friend. So let's try and get him again. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, we got him for the first time. I'm sorry about that. And we got the maximum amount of points to score. So anyways, let's score again. And it looks like that guy returned for revenge. Let's see if we can get him, shall we? And yes, we got him again. Looks like this Pokemon's very strong and cool. I also theorized that the reason why I did so good is because my item build was good. Like, we literally have an item that's really good because it heals you up when you're on low health. And I'm going to get this objective at the top lane. And looks like the enemy team have got it. And wow, looks like a steal did. And we got rid of the talent flame. And let's get rid of this guy. Uh, let's get rid of these Pokemons. And I'm doing so good. Look at how good I'm doing. I'm knocking them all out. I might be outnumbered, but look at how good I did. I knocked them all out. Wasn't that incredible? Now I can score more easily. There we go. Let's score again. And I destroyed that goal zone. So now we're going to get this enemy Pikachu. And wow, he went down so quickly. These enemy Pokemon go down so quickly. This Pokemon is so good. Or maybe it's because the enemies are so bad. It might be because the enemies are bad. And also don't forget that they're bots. So they don't do well as like the actual players. I couldn't use actual players because number one it will be too hard to get them. And number two it will be too hard to play against them. Because they'll probably come up with some sort of strategy and knock me out every time I try to fight them. So yeah. So now I'm going to do something they call the big brain move. So the enemy Pokemon was able to heal 
by going into the goal zone. However, if I bait him out, he'll be easier to defeat because he has nowhere to heal. Let's see if we can defeat him, shall we? And he uses his Unite move, so I'm not going to bother. But we could have got him, right? So anyways, now I'm going to go to this goal zone in order to defend it. And, well, that Talonflame is gone. And let's just get this Pokemon for her points. And Regieleki has spawned, so let's try and get him, shall we? Oh look, here comes some enemies. There they are. Now all we have to do is defeat them. I use my Unite move and I'm attacking them. And, well, they were too strong. So we're back in game now. And I just want to tell you something that's really stupid. People are ranting about the alternate colored hollowwares in Pokemon Unite. For example, there's a blue alternative to the holiday style of Pikachu. And today, well, as of when I'm recording it today, they added a red alternative to the theater style of Decidueye. Well, people are saying that this is a case of Tencent and Timmy being money hungry, but it actually isn't. It's just that people are toxic. This is proven by the fact in their questionnaire, they asked if people want like different colored variants to existing Hollowware. And, and it must have been like people liked it. It's because they added it and also don't forget that i personally think that differently colored hollowers are good it's because say if a person loves the design of a hollower but doesn't like its colors now if a alternate color version of said hollower gets added that is colors that they prefer over these colors They'll be happy it's because not only will the hollower have a cool design, but also have the colors that aren't like bad to them. So I personally think this is a good feature and people are just taking the game way too seriously and being way too toxic and using dumb excuses to hate Pokemon Unite. So anyways, now we're just going to dunk some points in and... We're gonna run around and now it's the final stretch. So anyways, you might think I'd get Rayquaza, but I'm gonna avoid him. It's because it seems that the bots don't go after him. I've seen one versus five Pokemon Unite challenges where people don't go after Rayquaza and leave him be and he never gets defeated throughout the course of the match, which means that the bots don't care about him. And I personally think that Rayquaza is a waste of time in these 1 vs 5 challenges since the bots don't go after him. So I'm just going to use this time to score rather than defeat him. And I'm attacking a Talonflame and well he ran off. And let's just score some more points using these Pokemons. We're gonna go over to the goal zone and dunk some points. And here's another one. Let's get her, shall we? Die, die. Oh, she got knocked out. And now we destroyed the second goal zone. That's right, we destroyed two goal zones in this match so far. Can we destroy another? We probably don't have time to destroy another, but let's see. Let's get this guy and use his points to score. There we go. We go through here and down here to this goal zone in order to score. And there's an enemy Pokemon. He wants me cooked. And oh, here's another one. Let's use our Unite move on him. Let's go and defeat them. And maybe I should ignore them and like dedicate the rest of the match, which is not that long to defending our goal zone. So anyways, let's defend this goal zone with like three seconds on the clock. And time's up. 
So anyways, I think I did well against the enemy team despite the fact that I lost. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, feel free to share some 1 vs 5 Pokemon Unite advice in the comments below. So maybe I could win a match. And anyways, bye everyone.